is Father Molly on Leader Hill. That means it's time for Famous Student News Broadcast. You're watching the Whitney Weekly. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. My name is Kyle. And I'm Deadline. And this is Whitney Weekly. Two. Today is Friday, February 10th. Today we have sign of the week. Then Aviana have question of the week. But thoughts, what does Shannon thought? So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to move my slide to show you what you're going to be looking at. We're learning in physical science, looking at the micro world in using microscopes. What we're learning today is how to focus the microscopes, how to see the images, describe the images. Uh, then we'll be moving into looking at the same images using different objective lenses at different magnifications. Okay, so what we're going to do since we did acrylic is even for you, we're gonna start with nylon. I think that the observation skills are really critical. I think that it helps them to focus on seeing the details of things in their world, not just the macro world as they experience it generally. Um, I think it also helps them to, in their writing skills, um, scientifically, how to describe things in a concise manner that others can understand. Maybe it looks scratchy. Think of a word that describes what you're looking at. Silky, okay, write that down, silky. Science is curiosity and exploration. I think science is the way that we not only learn about our world, but how we really then begin to create the world we're going to live in in the future. Science is a lot of fun. Now is sign of the week. Hi, I'm Devon, a student at Whitney Academy, and this is... Hi, I'm Maureen, one of the speech therapists here at Whitney Academy. And here's the sign of the week. The sign of the week is Valentine. Valentine. To make the sign for Valentine, you need to make two B's with both your hands. This is the letter B. This is the letter V. Put the V's facing one another and then make the shape of a heart. Valentine. 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 Maureen, did you get anything for Valentine's Day? Why, yes, I did get a Valentine's gift for someone. I got a bear and a bag of goodies. And you can too. Just go to Ashley's room, room 203, at the Eagle Express, and buy your special someone a Valentine. Now, a free Anna has a question for everyone. I'm Ava Funny Winning Weekly. What I'm going to do on Valentine today? What am I doing for Valentine's Day? Um, I don't really think I'm doing a lot. I'm hoping to maybe get some chocolate and some flowers from somebody. <laughs> uh, hang out with mom. Good, Michael. I'm gonna support the bake sale and buy some cookies. Thank you. Um, Valentine's Day, I like to go to different places and eat good food. What can I do for food? Um, go to a restaurant. That's good, mom. What's what you going to? Probably a steakhouse. Okay. I get back home. Father, Dad, is coming home. 
Take her to the mom. I'm gonna take her out to lunch. I'm going for now. I'm not fully sure yet. I'll take her somewhere special. Okay. Happy Valentine's Day with yeah. all the people that are around us. Thank you, Nick. Nice job, hey. Nick. Bye. A Brianna. Now is time for an announcement. Good morning, everyone. I'm Courtney. On February 14th, we are having a bake sale. On February 15th, there's an open house in the evening. Do you like hockey? On Sunday, February 26th, the Springfield Thunderbirds are hosting a century friendly game. Please scan the code for more information. March 9th is the Pinewood Derby. See Amy for more info. That's for announcements. Back to you at the news desk. And that all for today. I'm Deadline. And I'm Kyle. And we'll and see, see you, you next, next time. time. Bye. Bye. Adios. This program has been made possible by a generous grant from the ACES Education Foundation, enhancing ACES programs and services since 2003.